In this section, we're going to look at exponents, which do come up in chemistry. And again, like the fraction section, you may not see exactly these types of questions um, in chemistry. However, the general ideas that are uh, that we go over here will come up uh, throughout the course. So let's look at some examples. And just like in the fraction section and all of the math sections, we're essentially going to just do um, a bunch of examples. So here we have uh, an expression that we want to simplify, which is x squared plus uh, times x to the fifth, fifth times x to the third. And we want to sim simpl uh, simplify it with a single base unit. Well, when we're multiplying numbers to exponents, we add the exponents. So this is going to be x to the 2 plus 5 plus 3, which in this case is x to the 10th. So when you're multiplying numbers raised to powers, you add the exponents. In the next example, we're dividing by um, exponents. And it, when you multiply, you add. When you divide, you subtract. So this is minus 2 to the 14 minus 9, or minus 2 to the 5th. So when you uh, multiply exponents, you add them. When you divide exponents, you subtract. Here, we have a power raised to another power. So if you have one exponent re raised to another exponent, you multiply. So this is equal to minus 3. Time, uh, to the 5 times 11, or minus 3 to the 55. So again, when you're multiplying exponents, you add them. When you're dividing, you subtract. If you're raising one exponent to another, you actually multiply them. So in this case, it's minus 3 to the 55. In the next example, we have a little bit more going on here. So in order to simplify this expression, we want to get rid of this um, minus 3. So what I would do is do it as minus 3 times x to the fifth over x to the fifth. Now we're dividing. So this is x to the 5. Let me rewrite this. 5 minus 5 or x to the 0. x to the 0 is equal to 1. So we have minus 3 times 1 which equals minus 3. So here we can uh, just divide out the exponents. I got rid of the minus 3 first. It's not completely necessary. Uh, but we're dividing out the exponents and we subtract. Since it becomes x to the 0, that is just 1, independent of what x is. Any number raised to the 0 is just 1. So we can get rid of it. And here the final answer is minus 3. Let's look at this example. Here we have both multiplying and dividing going on at the same time. So let's multiply the tops first. This is z to the 2 plus 1, or z cubed, over z to the 4th. Now we have to divide, which is um, z to the 3 minus 4, which equals z to the minus 1. It says write all answers with positive exponents. Well, if you have z to the minus 1, this is the same as 1 over z. So z raised to a negative exponent is the same as 1 over z. If this were z to the minus 10, it'd be 1 over z to the 10th. So that's how you deal with these negative exponents, because it asks us to write our answers with positive exponents, which means in some cases like this one, we do need to use fractions. Let's look at combining these two ideas. Well, here we have e to the minus 2, f to the 2, all raised to the 7. We need to distribute this. So we need to do minus 2 times 7 and 2 times 7. So this is equal to e to the minus 14, minus 2 times 7, times f to the 14, which is 2 times 7. Now, since this is minus 14, this is the same as 1 over e to the 14 times f to the 14. Multiplying f by 1, we simplify this to f to the 14 over e to the 14. So this is how we can deal with the exponents in this case. Now some of this math doesn't directly come up um, in chemistry, uh, but it is still important to know that we need to distribute exponents and things like this, um, even though they don't come up exactly like these um, examples that just have numbers. So let's look at um, this example here. Here we have 3, or cubing, 6m squared, n to the minus 1. 
we need to distribute this cubed function. So we need to take 6 cubed, m squared cubed, which is m to the 6th, and n to the minus 1 cubed, which is n to the minus 3. 6 cubed is 216. You can use a calculator to do that. m to the 6. And now, because this is n to the minus 3, we want to put it on the bottom. So we can put that over n cubed. So this expression simplifies this. So again, we distributed the exponent through. And then because this was n to the minus 3, we did put it on the bottom. So these have been some examples where we're uh, simplifying expressions with exponents.